Now for this last part, we've got to work out the area R. And as we've seen in the previous part, it's given by this integral here. So how do we integrate something like this? Well, we've got a product of two functions of u here that we can't really expand. So we're going to need to use integration by parts. And I'm assuming you're familiar with integration by parts. We use this particular identity here. You'll find this formula in your formula books. It's the integral of u times dv dx with respect to x is equal to uv minus the integral of v du dx dx. Now, obviously, what we've got here is this is the standard formula, but uh, you can see we're not integrating with respect to x as we are here. So it does make this a little awkward just to put some notation down, but essentially, this is the part that I'm going to have as u in the formula because whenever you've got natural logs in integration by parts, always choose this as the part that you want to differentiate. In other words, the u part here. So this is essentially my u in the formula. So it's a bit confusing, I know, but I hope you've got the drift. So let's just say that that is the u part and this part here is the dv by dx. So when it comes to integrating by parts then we've got that this is equal to a half. We can keep the half out the front, okay. But we have got one part, the u part, which is this bit, the natural log of u. Put that in brackets and it's multiplied by what is essentially the integral of the other part. So we've got to integrate u minus 2. And if we integrate u minus 2 with respect to u, it's going to be u squared over 2 minus 2u. And then we've got minus the integral of the part that we've just integrated, this part here, which was this bit here, this bracket. So just copy that down again, u squared over 2 minus 2u. And then we multiply it by the differential of the part we called u, this part here. u was the natural log of u for this question, so we differentiate natural log of u and we get 1 over u. Okay, and this is all integrated now with respect to u. And we close that off and we've got our limits between 2 and 4. So what I'd want to do next is just clean this up. Okay, So for this first term I think I'd write u squared over 2 minus 2u first of all. So we've got u squared over 2 minus 2u multiplied by the natural log of u. Now for this term here, we can expand this bracket. We can multiply through by 1 over u. So we just keep the integral sign there. And so 1 over u times u squared over 2 is just going to give me u over 2. And minus 2u times 1 over u is going to leave me with minus 2. So all of that is integrated with respect to u going between 2 and 4. Next, I'm still going to just copy out what we've got here, and then we're going to do that integral at the end. So we've got now to integrate this with respect to u. So for this term, we're going to have u squared over 4, so that would be minus u squared over 4. And then we've got the integral of minus 2, which will be minus 2u. But then if we take into account this minus here, it's going to be plus 2u. There'll be no constant of integration because we've got limits. OK, so we've got 2 and 4 there. Now all we need to do is put our limits in. So if we put in 4 first of all, we're going to get a half out the front here. We're going to have 4 squared is 16, divided by 2 is 8. And then for this one, 2 times 4 is 8, so 8 minus 8 is 0. So this term's going to be 0 when we get there. 
put 4 in here, we've got 4 fours of 16 divided by 4, so that's going to be 4. 2 times 4 is 8, so we've got that part. Now we need to subtract what we get when we put 2 through. So 2 squared is 4 divided by 2, so that's 2. Minus 2 times 2, that's minus 4 there. Multiply by the natural log of 2. Okay, and we'll put this all in brackets actually. And then we've got to put the 2 in this term. 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we've got minus 1 there. And last term, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, let's close off that bracket and the square bracket there. So if we clean this up now, we've got the half on the outside. And then let's have a look at our constants. We've got minus 4 plus 8, which is 4. And in this bracket here, we've got 3. So we've got 4 minus here the 3, which is just going to be 1. When it comes to the natural logs, this natural log is 0. OK, that term there, I should say. And when we come to this one, this will be minus 2 natural log of 2. Then it will be minus minus 2 natural log of 2, which will be plus 2 natural log 2. And if we close the bracket there, there's your answer. OK, or you could expand it and just get a half plus the natural log of 2. OK, so I uh, hope it's given you an idea then how to work that integral out.